Okay, so we saw how to do it in the computer. We saw how to cut it. We saw how to overlap it. Now let's press it and see how it comes out. All our hard work. Um, I'm using a 100% Cricut polyester shirt. I have a bunch of them. Um, I could spare one for this. And they come out pretty good. I like the shirts. So I'm going to press it. I did already lint brush it and press it. I'm using a pressing pillow. My heat press is set to 375 at 50 seconds. It does run about um, 10 to 12 degrees warmer according to my thermal, uh, thermal gun. I'm using a swing design slide out heat press. It's relatively new, but I like it so far. I'm not so worried about how the design comes out on the shirt. So if there's ghosting, fading, that's okay. Um, I mean, hopefully there's not, you never want it to come out like that, but it's okay. I'm more worried about where it comes out on our design. Um, so we saw a couple of the tricks that, you know, if you hold it up to the light, you don't want to see any uh, light shining through. That means you have gaps in it. So we checked that. Um, I'm using Cricut blue tape. I love this tape. I think it comes out the best. I've tried a couple other ones and I just didn't really have great results with it. A um, couple of them, I had some yellow lines. And this is just by far my favorite. Uh, the cheapest place to get it is on Amazon for like four and change. For some reason, if you buy two of them, the pack of two, it comes out to nine and change. Just buy two single rolls and it's eight and change. Let's go ahead and press this. I'm using butcher paper, also from Amazon. Price changes all the time. Can't tell you how much I paid for this. So, this is, yeah, this is off the paper a little bit. So I'm just gonna adjust this. Yeah, so we'll see what kind of press we get. But like I said, I'm worried about where we overlap. That's that's the main part. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and press this for. 53 seconds. Okay, so we have about eight seconds left on this press and then it will be the moment of truth. Okay. Let's do a little adjustment here. I'll get you guys in the good look, don't worry. You might have a line, um, an indentation from where the paper is because of the pressure. But if it all goes well, you're not going to have a line um, from the sublimation. So let's take a look. As you can see. You cannot even tell where we overlapped it. I have a little ghosting over here. A little fading, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm not worried about that right now in this press. I mean, I should be worried about it because I don't know why my press did that, but that's a, not, it's neither here or there. Pretty cool, huh? So I just wanted to show you again. Here is the image on the computer. This is the image that I chose to print. My little Winx penguin from I don't know Winx. Here's the image that came out. Let's see if we can get both at the same time. Hold on, I need two hands. Again. There you go.